Rachel, what are you gonna show us to make today? So today we're gonna make a cashew coconut yogurt. And it's so amazing to be able to make something at home that you really thought you had to buy. All you need to do is start with cashews mm -hmm. and you literally put them in a bowl with water and leave them to soak for at least six hours. But I like to leave them overnight. The longer you leave the cashews soaking, the more creamy and smooth your yogurt will be. That's great. Yeah. Nobody really loves a chunky yogurt. <laughs> yeah, of course not. So then what you do is you take the cashews and you just strain them. Cashews are great, they're heart healthy, they have lots of fiber and fatty acids, and essentially this yogurt is going to be dairy free. So you're just gonna put the cashews in the blender, put in coconut milk. So this will make your yogurt really thick and decadent. So we're just gonna blend up. Okay, I think it looks ready, there's no visible chunks. We're just gonna pour this into a microwave safe bowl and microwave it for two minutes. And you just wanna make sure that it gets cooled down after the microwave to between 90 and 110 degrees, okay? Before you put in your yogurt starter culture. So it starts to act on the milk um, and turns bacteria into more probiotics. So basically it's the good stuff. It's the good stuff for your health. And mix it in. If you don't have yogurt starter culture, you can also use store-bought yogurt to get those probiotics going. And then we're just going to pour this into our jars. This is just plain. At this point, you can mix in pureed fruits like berries or peaches or even some melted chocolate to give your yogurt some flavor. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a little bit of water, about two to three cups, in an Instant Pot or a slow cooker and put it on saute for one to two minutes. Just a little just bit, just a little bit, just to get it hot. And then what we're gonna do is put covers on our yogurt and place them in the pot. At this point, your Instant Pot is off. You turn it off for the night um, and you allow the yogurt cultures to incubate and the yogurt thickens and becomes yogurt. And then tomorrow morning there's breakfast. Then tomorrow morning there's breakfast, exactly. So here is the yogurt, and we're gonna make our own parfaits here that we can bring to go to the office, because I, I know idea. we work together. <laughs> um, I like a little bit of everything. I don't know what like, your preference yeah, is. I like berries and also something crunchy. At the end of the day, there weren't really too many steps. It was pretty easy. You can really customize it to your palate and how you like it. Exactly. If you like this video, make sure to watch more One Thing videos on thesprueseats.com.